I had, a, I had a nerd moment turn sour on me once, though. I met this guy that I recognized. Uh, I recognized him as, as an actor from one of the Star Trek movies. And I spoke to him, and he was a dick. <laughs> Which was a real shame. Has that ever happened to anyone here? Have you ever met a famous person, and then they were a dick? Don't say Ed Byrne. It's hurtful. <laughs> uh, but that happened to anyone here? Have you ever met like, a celebrity that maybe you were a fan of, uh, and then they were a dick? Yeah, but somebody down here say yes? But did somebody, you did, oh sorry, you're, you're, what, what's your name, sir? Um, my name's Anthony. Your name's Anthony? Yeah. And, and, and who and did his, you meet, Anthony? His name was Mickey Dolenz. Mickey Dolenz, from the Beatles? <laughs> Not from the Beatles, the monkeys. <laughs> Mickey Dolenz, from the Beatles rip-off, the monkeys. Yes. <laughs> Anthony, how did you actually come to meet Mickey Dolenz then? Uh, it was actually uh, in this arena, in this hall. You're in, in, right here, in the city hall. You met him here, or you just saw the gig. Do you think you're meeting no, him right now? <laughs> <laughs> that's, where, that's how stalking starts, you know? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't see the gig, but I met him. You didn't see the gig, but you no. met him? I, yeah. I'm sorry, may I ask you how you came to meet him here without having seen the gig? Because I was passing the City Hall when he was, they finished the gig. They were, they you were just passing yeah. the City Hall? Yeah. As he was coming out? Yeah, they finished, they finished the gig. I was coming out. No, he was coming out. <laughs> he, was coming out. <laughs> he was coming out of the building, by the way. Can we just stress? <laughs> Especially if we're filming, I don't want to get anybody like, uh, oh, Ed Byrne in Mickey Dolan's gay slur. No, I, he was coming out of the building. So he's coming out of the building, so you met him on, while he was on his way out of the building. Yes? Yeah, and yeah. he was... He was... I, just, I don't want to pick you up, but earlier you said you met him in this building, OK? Well, so, <laughs> Anthony, I'm beginning to doubt you. Your, was... your story is falling down. <laughs> he, was coming, he was coming out the building, yeah. I was going past the building. You are going past the building. And he was clearly delusional. He was clearly delusional? <laughs> did, you, did you speak to him first? Did you say anything uh, to him? I, I, someone said something to him. Somebody said something to him. <laughs> Anthony, you're... This has gone from met somebody to walked past somebody while somebody else was speaking to them, you know. <laughs> See, now you've got a story about me being a dick as well, haven't you? That's it. <laughs> uh, uh, Bert, he asked a simple question and I answered it. No one else has answered it. I was just trying to help him out. He was doing his DVD. I was trying to fucking help the guy out. What did he do? He made a fucking prick of me. <laughs> Ed Byrne, shite. <laughs> And you'd be right, sir. You'd be right, then. So, so what, somebody, what did somebody say to Mickey Dolan's then? Uh, he was just very rude. He just seemed very, very... Um... His general demeanour? Yeah, yeah. Very, very unfriendly. I'm helping you out. It's like me telling the story. Yeah. His general demeanour was just rude. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you for playing. I appreciate this. Uh... <clears throat> Anybody else? No, not after what you just fucking did to Anthony. I did have a story about how Eric Clapton shat in me handbag, but I'm not telling you it. I'm keeping it to myself now. <laughs> did, did, did anybody else have a tale they wanted to tell of a celebrity being a dick? Yeah, somebody at the back there? What's, uh, what's your name? Alex. Alex? Who, who, who did you meet, Alex? The footballer Hat and Ben Arthur. You met a footballer and they were a dick? No. <laughs> Can we just be sure that this footballer I've never heard of doesn't have a super injunction on the story you're about to tell? <laughs> How did you meet this footballer? Um, I was at a football match. In a football match? <laughs> Where else? Where do you meet a member of the Monkees? Coming out of a theater. You were at a football match, yeah, and what, was, he, was he coming out as you were going in or as you were passing? <laughs> did you he actually did. speak to him or did you overhear somebody else talking to him? Uh, he was how did that, what, what occurred? What took place? Tell us the story. He was in the stand watching the match. He was in the stand watching the match? Yeah, and it was half time. I went over to him and I said, can I have your autograph? Yeah. And he essentially told me to sod off. <laughs> he essentially told you to sod off? <laughs> I feel ever so slightly like you're putting words in his mouth. <laughs> I mean, he signed an autograph, but essentially he told me to sign up. So did, did he refuse to sign the autograph? Yeah. Oh, did you say anything back to him? No. No. <laughs> May I ask you what age you were at the time? 
15. 15! Oh. 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 Uh, it it would have been better if you'd been younger, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you'd been 12, then it really would have been, you know, ugh. Do you have any disabilities or anything like that that could really just make the story? <laughs> Maybe even if you've just got a lazy eye, that'll do. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm a nerd! <laughs> You asked for an autograph and were refused. Therefore, he's a dick. You know, but it's not like he, uh, you know, spit-roasted your sister with eight of his mates, you know. So, as footballers go, refusing an autograph, that's actually quite tame, wouldn't you say? I love the way people just went, oh, no, footballers don't do that. Fair enough. Some do, but we can't talk about them for legal reasons. Well, uh, thank, thank, thank you, Alex, for, 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 for telling us your tale of woe. Refuse an autograph, he just had a demeanour that seemed unfriendly. You just... <laughs> Newcastle, you have a very low tolerance for behaviour from celebrities, don't you? <laughs> it doesn't take a lot. I, I, I've been asking this question up and down the country, of if, if, if you've ever had celebrity, you know, be, be a dick, and it's amazing how little it takes. It really is. It doesn't, it doesn't take much. You know, like, I had a couple of times I've had people say, Linford Christie, Linford, Linford Christie came to our charity sports day, and he just didn't seem to have any time for anyone. He came to your charity sports day, you ungrateful <laughs> bastard. And to say he didn't have any time for anyone, he's a sprinter. Time means a lot more to sprinters. <laughs> Radio 1 DJ Scott Mills. I said, what did he do? She said, I had my photograph taken with him and he pulled a funny face. <laughs> well, bring back hanging. <laughs> I think the funniest one for me was just because of how ridiculously bland it was, was um, Adam Woodyatt. Ian Beale from EastEnders apparently went into a branch of B&Q uh, in Coventry and the woman who worked there went, aren't you Ian Beale? And he responded, where do you keep the gas canisters? <laughs> <laughs> so your stories are looking pretty good right now, aren't they? <laughs> actors, actors can be prickly. This is a thing. Actors can just... I remember I did, um, I did an episode of the Graham Norton show once and uh, I was on with Robert Downey Jr., which I was quite excited by, because I'm quite a fan of Robert Downey Jr. And he was all right, but now and again, he just was a bit, he was a bit prickly. You know, I think he just didn't know how to take being sat between two comedians. He thought we were taking the piss out of him all the time, and we were only taking the piss out of him half the time. So, you know. <laughs> like, we were talking about a film he was in. He was in this film called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is a brilliant film, and if you haven't seen it, it's a very underrated film. And in the film, Val Kilmer plays a gay private detective, and there's a kiss scene between Val Kilmer and Robert Downey Jr. And I said to Robert Downey Jr., I said, knowing that his wife was the producer on the film, I said, that kiss with Val Kilmer, was that actually in the script? Or did your wife put it in the film just to see you kiss Val Kilmer? <laughs> and he visibly bristled. And he went, my wife is not a freak. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Fucking married you. <laughs> Thank you.